Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven. I'm a creative director based out of Salt Lake City, Utah. And today I'm talking about why I'm switching from these tried and true, time-tested Sennheiser G4s to the brand spanking new Rode Wireless Pros. So let's get into it. The three main reasons why I'm switching from probably my favorite lavalier system is for one, size, two, price, and three, just the overall features that the Rode Wireless Pro offer over the Sennheiser G4s. So just to start off, the reason why I even use these in the first place is I've used them for like six to seven years now between the G3s and G4s. Every shoot I've taken them on, they're extremely reliable. I know that I'm gonna get good audio from them and they sound incredible. And it's just, they're industry standard for a reason. Okay, now let's just talk about size. Size is pretty obvious and self-explanatory. These take AA batteries, so they're massive and they're heavy. These are rechargeable and they fit in a little rechargeable case. This is the Pelican that I keep my four Sennheisers in. This is the Rode Wireless Pro. So this holds two transmitters, one receiver. This holds two transmitters, two receivers. Size difference. Don't let people tell you that size doesn't matter. You can literally fit two of these body packs in one of these body packs. That just makes these more nimble and agile. It also has a magnetic clip on the back so you can clip them under somebody's shirt, you can clip them on your neck, or you can just clip them. Whereas this just has the old fashioned, very strong clip that you put on a belt or the back of somebody's pants, whatever it may be. Again, tried and true, industry standard. Whereas these are brand new, the clip is definitely weaker, but there's a magnetic system to them. And it's just, they're so convenient. I can put them anywhere. Number two is like the most obvious one. In my mind, a set of these, I believe is 650 bucks. So that's the body pack plus one receiver is $650. It comes with the microphone with a locking connector. Two body packs and one receiver with a charging case is $400. So for us, we have two sets of G4s, which means we spent $1,300 on two mics and two receivers. And I spent $400 on two mics and one receiver. Now there are pros to having two receivers as you can actually connect them to two inputs on your camera or your audio recorder. Whereas this is just one input and it splits it into a left and right channel if you want them split or you can merge them into one audio track. But it's, again, it's only one input with two audio tracks in that input, one in the left ear, one in the right ear. But for our situation, I don't necessarily need them in two separate channels as long as I have the two tracks of speaker one and speaker two, which then rolls into the third thing, which is probably the most important for me. Price might be the most important for you and $400 versus $1,300, big price difference. But the features for me are really what sold me. Now, a few months ago, I actually bought this guy. This is a Porta Capture X8. The reason I bought this audio recorder is because it records in 32-bit float. And 32-bit float is one of my favorite things to record audio in. If you don't know what 32-bit float is, there's a lot of great videos out there like Matt, who is Matt Johnson, and Curtis Judd, kind of the audio expert guy. They really explain it way better than I can, but just layman's terms from how I understand it is it records so much audio data if you record in 32-bit float that your speakers can never peak. This can only record onto a recorder or your camera in whatever audio bit rate that your camera or recorder can record in. I have a Zoom pod track. This is 24-bit audio, I believe. And and my camera right now is the C70. Again, that's 24 as well. So if somebody peeks on my C70 or somebody peeks on the pod track, I can't bring down that peaking because it's 24 bit, not 32 bit. Whereas I can record 32 bit float on board like I'm doing right now. You can actually see this little red dot. It means that I'm recording on board to this transmitter. I can plug it into my computer afterwards and I can take the 32 bit float audio file off the transmitter put it into my editing software, and then be able to mess with my audio file from there. That is incredible to me that on both of my transmitters, I can record separately 
32-bit float for every speaker that has one of these Rode Wireless Pros on them instead of having to rely on 24-bit on my camera or the pod track, or even just having to use my separate Passcam X8 so that I can record in 32-bit float. This just makes it so much easier, so much more convenient. There's just so many features packed into this tiny little lavalier system. It seriously blows my mind that these cost $400. In this day and age, it's a $900 difference between two professional lavalier mics and two professional lavalier mics. If there are any of you who are wondering if this is the right system for you, hopefully this video helps you take into account all of the things that I've listed between size, price, features, everything. And again, if you need these G4s, use them. They're incredible. I've used them for six, seven years because they're so freaking good. The only reason I'm switching is because these are just absolutely insane. I don't know how Rode is pricing them at $400 to be honest, and packing all of these features in them at the same time. Hopefully my next video won't take another six to eight weeks to make like this one did. Please don't forget to like my videos so that the algorithm can push them out and also subscribe so that you can catch more videos like this that are focused on gear, videography, filmmaking, content creation, and more. Thanks guys.